And we're back to learn GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create a kaleidoscope effect. You'll find the image that I'm using here via the description link below. I'll copy it. Let me rename it. Make sure that you've got this layer active. And then go to filters, distorts and there's a kaleidoscope filter. It opens this menu. Check the preview and you can see the effect in real time. Best way to understand what all of these functions do is to just try them out. At first look at the center. So we can reposition that in the x and y axis. The mirrors, it starts with two. Let me make four and you can see that we've got one mirror in each corner. Mirror rotation, don't go too high or you're going to have this result. So the parts that are interesting in a photo, they become way too small. The result rotation, if I slowly adjust it, you can see it that this part gets rotated. So if you go upwards, it's clockwise. The offset, it basically moves the entire mirrored result in the x-axis or y-axis. So if I do it slowly, you can see that once again. So if I go the minus, it moves it to the left hand side. There's also a trimming function. Just try it out, it's the best way to understand that. The zoom, if you reduce it, you can see it zooms out and the mirror effect is being multiplied to fill the canvas size. And you can also expand it. If you go to zero, you're going to have a black canvas. For the most part, you want to set this function to one. When you've got what you want, don't forget to click on OK. And this was the original. Here's our kaleidoscope effect. And this is how you can create that in-game. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.